This is a full live mix from start to finish. So you're gonna see every little detail that goes into an industry quality finished product. And then at the end, you're gonna watch a professional mastering engineer master this track in real time right in front of you. If you've ever wondered what's missing from your mixes and masters, then this is gonna give you complete clarity on what steps you might be skipping. Here's what we're starting with. And here's the end result. Now, before we dive in, you're gonna notice this is a replay from a live event. And nothing beats watching this live in real time and watching it unfold right in front of you and asking questions as you go along. We're hosting another one of these live events next week and it's gonna be completely free to attend. It's called the Fix Mix Challenge and it's a three-day live event where we go through the mixing and mastering process and show you how to analyze your track to figure out what's missing and then go back to the mix and fix those problems at the source. Again, it's free to attend and it's starting on Tuesday, April 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. If you want to get access, all you need to do is join our free private community hosted on a platform called School. And we chose to do it on School instead of Discord or Facebook because in my opinion, it's much more conducive to creating high quality interactions between community members and you can ask questions, get help if you're struggling or just hang out with people. But we can also host the live events here in this platform. There's a calendar section where you can add it to your personal calendar and get the Zoom link. And then after the event, there's also a classroom section where we host the replays for seven days after the event finishes. So it's great, everything's all in one place and all you need to do is go to fixthemixchallenge.com to create your free account and get access to the community, the live events, the replays and all that stuff. Also, if you're watching this in the future after April 18th, we're gonna be hosting more of these live events. So sign up anyway and catch the next event. Okay, now for the start to finish mix. It's six hours long, but it's gonna be a complete game changer if you can watch the whole thing, because it's rare that you get opportunities to look over someone's shoulder while they do a whole track from start to finish like this. So enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and save this session. Jake has never heard this. <clears throat> he has no idea. I just gave away the style, but until then he didn't even know what style it was in. I wasn't even listening, so I didn't even catch it. Oh, well, there you go. <clears throat> hey, Wayne. Throwing me to the wolves. So I went ahead and saved a new session. It's in 145, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, tracks in 44.1 or 48. I guess I can check. It'll auto, it'll auto change it once you drag them in. No. This is where I start from, guys, by the way. Um, I've got my wet effects, and that's it. This is my quote-unquote template. Yeah, just those buckets that we created yesterday. Drum long, drum short, instrument long, instrument short. Vocal, you had a couple delays on there, just in case you want some delays. But that's it, you know, yep. just enough, not too much. Dude, I didn't even know I had a SoundCloud. Just for this session, Wayne. Yeah. I have a, you'll have access to, to it. I forgot I had a SoundCloud. <laughs> for... <clears throat> <laughs> but thanks. Appreciate the compliment. Sweet. All right. We got some tricks. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be about getting the lay of the land here. Organization and uh, normalizing. This is what we're going to start with. Are these 100% raw? Uh, I would assume you guys did some vocal tuning here, like vocal editing and things like that. I don't remember, honestly. Hope so. Uh, me too. It's going to be, it's going to be a long sesh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Luckily, if there was tuning to do, my wife sings uh, very accurately. Yeah. She killed kill Are these it. the wet? So we sent you wet and dry. These are the wet. These are the wet. Got it. 
you know, I prefer to go with the like producer's vision as much as possible and then sure. grab a dry track if I need to, right? So I start here because ultimately if I just use the wet effects that are baked into the track, it'll move the process along faster. I don't have to worry as much about like adding spatial processing to those things and it's closer to kind of like the original intent of the producer. So as long as there are no issues with the, the wet tracks, then I like to use those. So right now I'm just kind of like cherry picking the percussive elements here. Looks like those are everything. A kick, a snare, I got a kick. snare layer uh, like a chorus perk hat you got a kick that's our driver shakers hats hat um, perk loop Flash, crash, hat, cool. All right. Hearing that okay? You guys hearing that? Hearing that is just a just a kick. Yeah, sweet. Are the drum tracks mono or stereo? Some of them are stereo, some of them are mono. Most of them are stereo. The only one that's mono is this triple kick. So just renaming some tracks here. Um, I also, what I like to do is kind of reorder these in a way uh, according to where they come in on the timeline. All right, so we've got a verse hi-hat here. So the waveforms will kind of look, look like a diagonal almost. All right, so you take these. They come in next on the timeline and then these come in and then splash and then crash kind of comes in last, right? It's where the first waveform in the track is. That's how I like to order things. Just personal preference. Toss all these into a drum bus. Might change that later, but for now, what I'll have to do. So we got some bases, uh, base pulse, base pulse. We're gonna say chorus base, uh, another base. <laughs> base, another. Base two. <laughs> High base layer.
Yeah, so this is really just about adding texture. Um, I'm going to put it in the base bus for now. Just in that second section. I'm just going to call it base grit. What is this? I'm going to toss that into our percussion. Sticks. Another base. Um, the other base is happening. There's a base, there's a base, there's a base. Drum and bass. Uh, another bass layer for the chorus, I want to say. Yeah. So this is really more kind of like about the attack. Attack layer. I'm going to just call that for now. Bass <clears throat> bounce. I'm going to call this bass low pulse. Yeah. I'm going to call this, what's, that's not bass. Cool. I'm going to call that Mannheim steamroller. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually just going to call that like synth horn. I'm not even going to consider that like a bass layer. Cool. Um, any other basses? No, I think that's pretty good. Cool. Color them the way I like them. Bass. Um, let's reorder a little bit. Base two. Then we've got some base layers here. Base pulse and base low pulse. All right, sweet. Cool. Drums, bass. Next, um, probably going to be everything else. So pads and, and keys, pads, keys, synths, things like that. Pad, arp. Is this a vocal? It's a vocal swell. Okay, I'm going to call that a swell. That's going to be uh, considered a special effect, so I'll bring actually bring it down. Organ. All this stuff looks like keys, synths, there's a swell, uh, and this is nothing, there it is, cool, cool texture, bring that up here, got some throws, uh, what's this? Cool. Yeah, Vocals. Breath sweep. That's going to be, yeah. Cool. It's another sweep. That's a synth throw. Okay. Keep that up there. This is going to go like this, boop. Um, anything else? We've got a sweep, sweep, delay throw. That's a vocal delay throw. Pad outro, pad outro. And then a vocal synth outro. We'll... 
assess that. Cool. Bring that up there too. Um, awesome. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. Is it only on my screen that Jake has like a glitchy box over on the right hand side? That's um, our Zoom window. Yeah, it's gone now. It, it was just making the, the logic tracks all distorted. It all was weird. Goofy? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me change it. Yeah, just let me know if it does that again. That's where I've got like, I've got our like faces. <laughs> uh, I see. Right, so it's not registering on your end. You don't see it. I see it on my end. I'm doing it for the, like the replay recording. Right. Keep our faces in there. Yeah, a lot of cool sounds here. I wonder what the song sounds like. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to call this weird vocal synth. Pulse. Weird vocal pulse. Is that right? <clears throat> and throw. <laughs> Moog arp. Extra moo. This was a cool sound. Yeah. Tickle pad. Mm. Uh, Joseph, they are a mixture. We use, uh, there's some sub 37 on here. These, uh, there's some Juno 60, some sub 37, and the rest would be software. Uh, no Apple loops, all handmade. Um, uh, that's my wife's voice. Those are uh, captures. Um, yeah, all the percussion was all hand uh, hand built. I would actually toss these into a different bucket, but these are all going in the same bucket. It's like keys and chords. Lead box. No, swells. Let's do these effects first. Box sweep. Maybe. Synth sweep. Yeah, synth sweep. Box sweep.
Lead vocals, lead vocal verb. Harmonies. May not need that verb track. I don't know what's in there. <clears throat> I don't remember. We're gonna find we out. We're gonna find out. Did, uh, did you create your sample of voxes yourself using your wife's voice? Yeah, and some of them are our voices, too. Some of those um, sampled vo vocal things. Uh, Joseph, it depends on the synth. Like, the, the sub-37 will clock to your MIDI with USB. The Juno 60 <clears throat> came out the year before uh, MIDI. Or sorry, uh, yeah, MIDI uh, MIDI came out, and so that one's a little harder. There's a hardware unit you have to use to interface with the Juno, or you just uh, get really good with a knob and lucky. Never thought I'd hear those words come out of your mouth. <laughs> Halfway through, I said, we, "We're committed here." <laughs> We're going. Got to finish that thought now. <laughs> Not too shabby, man. Look at that. Yeah, check it out. One of the smaller sessions. Sweet. That's organization. Boom. Normalize. Do it. Uh, shift command D, is that right? For yeah, yep. Shift yep, command shift D to create tracks. I think that's the key command, the default key command to create track stacks in Logic Pro. Yeah, or you can go up to track and create track stack. Up or the just top. right click on it. Or do that. <laughs> and go to create track stack. Many different options. You know, or create your own key command. That makes the most sense to you. Is everyone who's here... Uh, uh, are, how do I say this? <laughs> are you supposed to be here? <laughs> Today, Junior. Uh, have all of you that are here been... Did you join us for the last three days of the regular Fix the Mix? Are any of you who are... Type a two if you didn't go through the last three days. Donnie didn't. Donnie didn't do it. Just curious. You don't. You don't have to. I was just curious. A two if you didn't go through the last three days. Okay, it looks like most of you did. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and normalize these guys. And really the reason we do this is to create headroom, right? We want to be sitting on average between minus 10 and minus 20. That's kind of like the sweet spot. So I'm going to go ahead and normalize these, these um, tracks. You can do these by hand with the gain tool, but uh, there's a nice feature in Logic where it allows you to essentially set all the tracks to peak at no more than negative 10. So it just kind of puts everything right where it needs to be, which is the goal here in creating headroom is neg but having everything between negative 10 and negative 20. Mm -hmm. Just to start with, just so you have headroom. Yep. And it would allow us to get to, you know, hopefully stay under that negative six. And that's it. On the stereo bus by the end. The session is prepped. Let's check the vocal. Hold it, please, hold it until you do not breathe. Hold it till your heart no longer beats. Hold it until your mind. Thank you. Sounds tuned to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Julia. Thank you to you guys. What'd you go into here? 
what did I run into? Yeah. Which which mic? Uh, that would be running into a from a Soyuz uh, O172 mic into uh, uh, duh, duh, duh. it's essentially a Neve. Yep. It's like a boutique. The guy that made Neve did a a brand. Yeah. Uh, since then. Yep. And then probably not compressing these at all because it's not very dynamic of a vocal so just a mic and preamp probably on these and well, a great performance your pre also like controls the dynamics here right yep. that's what yep. makes it that's what makes this this is kind of what i want to highlight is that's what makes these vocals look nice and chunky right like they're the dynamic dynamics aren't like fluctuating Right, we don't have these super high peaks and these super low valleys or anything like that. Look at they're nice little sausages. Well, and see, let's see that actually, if this are are wet stems, then we've treated these a bit, so we've probably de-sed. We ah, probably, okay. We probably compressed a little bit too. Okay, got you. All right, so there is some some sort of processing happening here. Um, yep. that was done in the box. Got yeah. you. That was. If you don't, uh, if you have the, you know, you could pull in the dry to see the difference, but. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I think you probably want these. <laughs> I'm good. Again, like just kind of going along with what the original intent of the artist was and, and the producers were, um, mm. you know, if there's an issue with these, then that's another story, but I I'm inclined to just move forward with these. Well, I try to track it negative, you know, depends on what I'm tracking. I, I try to keep some headroom in there, but this is a, more of a mixing process where you get it done to 10, Joseph. 10 to 20 is on any DAW. Uh, I don't know if Pro Tools does. I think it does, though. Yeah. Just normalizing the gain after the volume within the buses. Alter the volume within the buses. Curious how the volume changes through this workflow. Yeah, we're just giving ourselves a uh, headroom right now. We're going we're gonna to adjust these again now, but just so that even at nominal value, the, we haven't changed the volume, only gains so far. So all the volume faders are all at zero. We're actually uh, are at nominal. We're actually going to turn that, them down to negative infinity right now and bring tracks in one by one. But even if we go back to nominal, we'll know we're kind of at that negative 10 point, which is by the time we have everything in there, going to be uh, plenty of headroom to keep us under that negative six for the stereo bus, hopefully. Yep, gain, not volume. Yeah, so he's turned everything down to negative affinity. He's going to start bringing things in one by one. He's usually, uh, if I know Jake, going to build around the kick as kind of the the central piece. He'll usually turn that up to nominal, to zero, and uh, kind of build everything around that. Yeah. It's generally his workflow. Well, it's not zero, it's... It doesn't have to be the kick. Kick makes sense, because you can really build your whole kind of uh, drum and percussion stems around that, but... It doesn't have to be the kick per se. Wayne, I do kick then bass then vocals. Jake usually does kick. Uh, sorry, drums then vocals then bass. Although I've been, you know, since we met, I've been kind of like playing around with the other way. Really? Yeah. So past. What has how long have we been working together now? Six months, year? In about a year, I think, Jake. Oh my god. Coming up on a year. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Best year of my life. Likewise. Oh. I'm getting so gooey, getting so mushy now. Come visit, man. You gotta come visit. I'm coming. Uh, come on, a couple weeks. 
Anything else? Um, Did you get that from Bobby Ozinski? The uh, drums, then vocal, then bass? Um, did I get it from him? Maybe. Maybe. I, I Bobby Ozinski, that, the book that he wrote was kind of like one of the first things that um, I really dug into when it came to mixing. But there was a point in time where I started with vocals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Mixing Engineer Handbook, yeah. That was Holy a huge, goody. like... I had some really good mindset shifts when I read that book. So, that's so now cool. we're getting into what we talked about yesterday. We're going to try to mix with only volume. Mm -hmm. Get the thing as close as we can to sounding great with just volume, just panning. Anything on the volume fader. And we're shaping sound in, remember, the three dimensions. Stereo for width with panning. Things that are quieter sound further away, so we're in the depth dimension. And then he's also thinking about the intrinsic nature of each of the instruments and painting with those because they all have frequencies. Starting to spread those frequencies out, creating a, a tall mix. All of this with volume. Move quickly. Move quickly. This is the way I like it. I suggest you try it the same way. Anybody name that one? That's a that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. Yeah, and he's not going to get hung up on compression or EQ or any of that right now. He's going to take notes. If there's something that he knows he, he's not solving with volume, and he'll just make a quick little note to himself for later so that he can be really focused. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it comes with experience and the correct mindsets. I'm going to start here with the kick, and I'm just going to kind of like quickly bring in some of these other elements here. Here we go. Cool sounds. Really sweet. Cool, cool textures and sounds happening here. <clears throat> A 
run right into a verse. Verse 12. There's no intro, it comes right in too. really pretty simple right in the beginning yep. so uh, gives it somewhere to go yeah cool a new happy life a new happy life we left our big brother for the watcher inside i want that man when i did i want that man when i did I know y'all are excited to get to the chorus. Hope. Sweet. I won't buy me when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. And what did you have in mind for a <clears throat> reverb? A new happy life. There is no reverb. A new happy life. That's a double. This is a double. Yeah, it's mislabeled. Dane. We left our big brother for the watcher. What was the um, original intent for... A, a, double, a tight double. A tight double up the center? Uh, I think so. <laughs> new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never want that man when I did. Brother for the watcher inside. We were small and never knew happy life. A new happy life. Yeah, that's a double. We this has got more like girth and kind of like thickness to we it. Left our big more intimate. Brother, for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Yeah, um, so I really. I. I love this vocal. Um, I, honestly, I would just go with a solo, a lead right up the center here if it were up to me, but it's up to the client. Really? Yeah. You, you know, my. So yeah, it's more of a stylistic kind of alt pop thing. Yeah. A new happy life. A new happy life. So cool. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Never raised a voice. No throw here? Boys. So that's going to need... Probably meant to be delayed. Yeah. Yep. And reverbed. 
Got it. You'd think it'd be on there if it was wet, but I guess it didn't, yeah. didn't come in. We were small and never raised a boy. Yeah. Well, your call, Caleb. Do you want to keep this in here for the verse? Yeah, at least keep some of it, but you can, you do you. Do it. Well, if it was me, I would just, I would mute this. I'd mute this and just like let Julia's voice just like be whispering in, in my ear. Yeah, do you then. You know. A new happy life. It's so nice. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I went Great voice. Good job. I went me when I did. Really good. I love, I love this microphone on your voice. Oh, sounds so good. We were small and never raised a boy. Awesome, man. Shoot, yeah. tell her, tell her, like, you probably told her a billion times, but really no, she, great character. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's move into the chorus. Uh, depends on what you want, Joseph. The, the looser they are, the more chorusing you'll get, which is also a style. Um made popular recently is the very 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 tight double triple quadruple you know the billy eilish effect which are just incredibly tight yeah but so it just makes it sound really really thick and not as much chorusing but there's also techniques where you have a lot of chorusing and it's a little looser mm -hmm. absolutely killer loving it Wayne, these are probably mostly chopped samples that were placed on the grid accurately. Um, some of them were played and probably quantized. Some of them were created with samples and placed on the grid accurately. A mixture. Wayne, smart snap and, and logic usually get you where you need to go.
vocal in there. Cool harmony that is. get the idea <clears throat> yeah sick this is great this is cool vibe i love this a new happy life a new happy life we left our big brother for a watcher inside i want that man when i did 
I won't tell me when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Hold it. listening for guys is how this song is flowing i'm listening for volume levels i'm not just isolating like a chorus or something like that i'm i'm listening to how the song actually evolves right so i think a lot of people kind of make the mistake of cycling through a chorus over and over and over and over again and just getting a great balance on the chorus to me it's more important and actually a little bit more telling as far as where instruments should be sitting in the mix if you listen through from the transitions from section to section, right? Because then you get an idea of how things come in and out of the arrangement. All right? So just a, just a tip for you guys. This is, I'm just letting you into the mindset a little bit. Hold it. such an impact
Yeah, I'm just going to bounce those together. Make it a little bit easy on myself. Is there was really so carry me in body more to be spirit be hold on be hold on to you remember how be hold on to your how so speak hold on to your mind that's be hold on to your hands and all the shake hold on to the knees and the seas to play them hold on hold on in the Cool. Yeah, this is cool. This is a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. Is there was really so carry me in body more to be spirit be hold on be hold on to you remember how be hold on to your how we start to hold on Sick. Awesome. <laughs> Joseph, I'm still waiting for the vocals to throw out a bubble bath, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Yeah, this is great. This is a really fun track. A lot of, um, you know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of opportunities for um, reverb, right? So, so spatial processing is going to be huge here and uh, making sure we apply this tastefully in a way that doesn't clash with the fr the frequencies that we have going on in the mix. Um, that's going to be huge. Uh, but yeah, absolutely killer. Killer song. I'll have, to check, I'll have to check on one thing for you, Jake. I'm trying to remember if the... Um, Something missing? For the bass. Yep. We may have flown the second chorus bass on the first chorus bass too. I'll have to double check. It seems like that first chorus actually hits pretty hard. Um, this first but, chorus here yeah and you see how the second chorus has the the higher fuzzier bass yeah um I'll, I'll double check for you just so you have a fair what's the what's the possibility like what are we talking about what what are you thinking it'll help that chorus hit harder needs to happen the, the first chorus the chorus is hit harder on the because we have a version of this already. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of what we have. Um, that chorus hits pretty hard, so I'm wondering if we had flown the bass yes. grit into the first one over in into mixing, the first potentially. One. I'll oh, double okay. check for you though. Okay. I I don't honestly don't think it needs it. I wouldn't even. I mean, I wouldn't even put it in there. Honestly, like there's there's enough new things that enter the arrangement here um that really already kind of like we but yeah totally check let me know you can copy and paste that over if we need to and this is all what's this grit and attack i'm gonna bounce these together also just call it base grit Less tracks. Just looking for ways to create less tracks, that's all. Less tracks. Yes, please. Yes, please. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to really make this one shine. I'm excited, man. This is great. Um... 
quick break and then I want to dig into uh, there's not like a ton of vocal automation I want to do but there are some parts that absolutely need it that I feel like absolutely deserve some some extra attention and bringing out some character in that lead vocal you could definitely be polished more and fit, fit the track a little bit more for sure mm -hmm. yeah in terms of just some of the tales of the words like she's got such like a breathiness um and such a character that i think can really like pop through here like it's a star really the drums and the vocals are like the star we've got some really cool atmosphere going on here too but the most amount of of attention i'm probably gonna give is gonna be on the vocals and the drums just like that groove yep. is so is the driver and like placing all those atmospheric elements uh, correctly but the vocals in the groove that's just like that's what it is just what this and, and if i was a client a, a note i would pass along is uh it's a lead into any dirtiness we want a, a kind of a dirty track in a way too mm. uh dirty super, can you tell me more about that what are your thoughts Yeah, not super super clean uh in terms of the, the track as a whole uh, yeah i mean the drums bass all that stuff the dirt that's in there we're not afraid of we want that Mm. We, want that. we want the dirt we want the grit the alt of the alt pop you mm -hmm. know the stank face mm -hmm. anyway got you <clears throat> cool man this is great um any references yeah what do you think in mind for this track i mean if if it were up to me i would just i would just like leaf through an alt pop playlist and just yeah. target something that is kind of like similar in terms of um, instrumentation, you know, more on the electronic side of things um, with a female vocalist. Yeah. That's kind of somewhere close to it. We can use like a Billie Eilish track just for like basic volume like balance and like overall just to make sure we've got the translation curve and i've already got some of those so i can oh. easily just bring yeah, we those can in find something yeah i can bring those in cool Chunking out some more of this arrangement. I dialed in or what? Look at that. And you know Pretty why close. you know why those the high end elements there is um there's more of it in our track, but it's because the arrangement elements, there's more high end elements. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason right? there's hardly any high end in that Billy Eilish song. It's just the air on the vocals and like a couple things here and there, but in ours, you know, we got shakers, we got some hi hats and things like that. That's what's kind of like pushing up this high end, but everything else like low mids, um, on point with that track. It is real on point haven't done anything this is all volume and it still like fascinates me to this day i'm really passionate about just like music production itself and i get really excited over over silly things that most people wouldn't get excited over but i still always get excited over stuff like this 
Like when I see, when I'm able to just do a volume balance and then see how close it is or how far away it is from the, the reference itself. I just, I don't know, man. Yeah, I love that too. It, it's, it's just a good, good feeling. Feel it's cool. Um, we're actually gonna go to here. Yeah, I, I just brought in a few um, references that might kind of like be in this lane, Caleb. Uh, you know, uh, Billie Eilish, Sylvan Esso, St. Vincent. Yep. You know, a little bit of a different take on the vocal, real crisp vocal, real crisp and clean on that one. So probably not going to go that direction. Let's go to mass seduction. Probably a little bit more of the grit side of things. Yeah, instrumentation wise though, like way off base. be good to just kind of like sit it there though to make sure that we're in ballpark and it would yeah. sound well you know sitting with different references in the same playlist oh, well. there's your grit oh, well. there's a red moon rising oh, a little bit of a different vibe <laughs> cool, though. i think it's inspirational though yeah totally in terms of like the grit factor Hell yeah. Yeah, I really just... That's probably the best. Yeah, reference. I just like that. I just love the Billie Eilish, just like the translation curve. Yeah, really cool. Man. Really great. That's that is probably the best one. I'd agree. Hundo. Hundo Hundo. Cool. Vocal automation. We ready guys? You with me? You with me? Gimme uh gimme uh nine hundred and twelve. If you're ready to move on with vocal automation. Nine twelve. Nine hundred nine hundred twelve. Love it. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> Love that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to target just really this first verse. Um, since everything else is kind of like stacked. I'll probably just target the vocals here. Got some ideas. So let's dig in. A new happy life. Yeah, all of that just needs to come up. It's gorgeous. That stuff. New happy life. A new happy life. Totally. A new happy life. Sorry. Happy life. We left our big brother for the watch. Uh, for the big brother for the watch. 
that, uh, that waiver. Stop it, brother. Amazing. We're gonna breath down a little bit. Yeah, Joseph, this is just, we're having a lot more intention than a compressor. We're we're choo we're making choices here. This is the kind of detail a, a good vocal deserves. You go in and you make it magical by hand with the human ear instead of a a robot making the decisions. I don't do this stuff on backing vocals. No. This is like obvious like upfront character, like shining a spotlight on the lead. I don't do this stuff with backing vocals. With backing vocals, um, there's a different purpose for them. You know, it's to supplement, right? That's not as much in the spotlight. You can, if you want. You got the time for that. <laughs> you can, you can. You can go all day on this stuff. <laughs> I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Raised a voice. Voice. Raised a voice. Raised a voice. That's the section I wanted to hit. Yeah, I'm going to do it there too. Inside the second verse. I'm not going to worry as much about it in the chorus. That's just... Really good stuff there. You move your hand, he speaks. You move your hand, he speaks. And he speaks. They know you better than you know yourself. Hmm. Then you know yourself. They did. 
they did They wanted me when They me when they did They wanted me when they, they did Me when they, they did Yeah, there's some kind of dynamics processing on this, for sure. Show. I'm just breaking out these um, vocal parts because I'm going to process these a little bit differently. So I'm just putting them into different tracks. So I'm breaking up the verse lead from the chorus. Wait. You know, I might put a little bit more compression on the chorus lead, something like that. You know, maybe uh, some different effects, variety. Go. Cool. Let's check out the bridge. Vision, risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder, tender, water, pillar, daughter, mercy, worthy, measure, doubter, denier, wanderer, circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watchtower, water, fire, burn, water. here pretty happy with that though yeah i loved what you did there on the, okay. the, the bridge on the verse vocals oh and yeah bridge. yeah sweet yeah our character needs deserves to just kind of like step into the spotlight New happy life loving this Loving this, man. Okay, cool. So I'm done with uh, vocal automation here. I'm done with volume. Straight up. Let's check against the reference. Happy life. Again, and kind of come up with a plan of attack here. Hold on deep. Hold on to you remember how Yep, so things like the main things that I'm hearing, the differences, um, vocal highs, 
Um, percussion highs. Um, this is more. <laughs> more percussion highs. And these would be things that I consider fixes. More control on the low end. Yeah, control, right? Yeah, taming, controlling things, um, bringing the track to a baseline, right? This is not like enhancements. Not yet, anyway. I'm just thinking about fixing. So more vocal highs, more percussion highs. Um, yeah, yeah, low end. Low end control. Honestly, mid-range sounds pretty good. That's just too bright. What's that? You could definitely go more that direction, though. It is a darker mix, but not. it's too dark right now. Yeah. I think, like, slightly... <laughs> slightly less crispy than Sylvanesso. <laughs> I, I agree, yeah. But more vocal highs, you know, obviously, where we're lacking is a high end, as usual. Um, vocals, uh, more percussive highs. Low end and mid-range sound pretty good. Mix is a little bit scooped anyway. So I would just say kind of like, um, just cleaning. I really love where those lows are just like sitting. They're pretty, pretty yep. solid across the board. You know, they just need a little bit of separation. And speaking of separation, uh, they did a wonderful job of getting separation around Billy's vocal um, that we could take note of for sure on this track. Uh, what do you mean? Well, just listen to all the space around her vocal compared to, I mean, we haven't done anything yet, but uh, Julia's is definitely more lost. Yeah, so my, my first thoughts here are, you know, she's obviously singing in a higher register, um, but we can use a little bit more kind of like mid-range warmth to help that become a little bit more intimate, for sure. Um, and it can just come up in the mix if that's like yeah. the direction that that we want to go. It can just come up, you know, yeah. vo volume and highs wise. too, mids and highs probably. Highs absolutely, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent highs. And there's just a lot of mud, you know. We we're in creative mode. We're not worrying too much about mud. Um, yeah, and just like lead vocal. Come up.
I checked the original version, Jake. Uh, I think we did have some of the brightness in the first one, but it was less. Or the the bass, sorry, the the bright bass. Mm-hmm. The first chorus, it was just less, so it kind of built into the second one. But there was a little bit there, so if you want to have a fair comparison. There were a couple little moments I noticed in the chorus that get lost. Hold it. flown i think so <clears throat> wonderful yeah we're just working on a track out boy this is a production of dan and i's and my wife singing it's like a hip-hop alt pop track and we are in the vocal automation phase we just were out of it. it we were out just, of it for a second but yeah we went back in we had to go back in <laughs> Okay. 
Ready? Ready. Dynamic control of the background vocals. Yeah. <clears throat> That's how you make uh, expensive sounding vocals. You have to do that TLC. That's what it takes. Mm -hmm. Compressor doesn't do it with enough intention. Any of that. Cool. All right. I've been working on vocals for a while, so I'm going to come to those last. Nothing against Julia's voice. Starting to fatigue in that area. Maybe a little ear break. Yeah. From that. So we actually tackled that. Lead vocal can come up. More vocal mid. Boom. Yeah, I think maybe we'll go the complete opposite direction and work on the low end now. Because <laughs> I'm fresh there. And then we'll just kind of work our way back up to kind of like the crispiness range. Yep. <clears throat> so here it is. Clean up kick drums. Let's dive in. I'm going to mute the vocals for now. Any questions before we move on, guys? Am I moving too quick? Too slow? Just right? Let me know. Are you hearing some differences already, even though we've only been working with volume? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Just right. Okay, sweet. Great on vocals. Yeah, totally. Definitely hearing a difference already. Yeah, sweet. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good call, Caleb. Bringing it out. Just turning it up a little bit here. Bringing it yeah, more there's forward. still room to create for it, but uh, it'll be easier to do. Yeah. Yeah, you can watch the replay as many times as you want, Wayne. Yep. Toots my goats. Quick question. I think I think a lot of you booked calls uh, with us yesterday. We usually save a few slots to open up for VIPs to make sure that they get in if they wanted to. Does anyone need to book a call who didn't yesterday to talk about the reverse engineer program? Ah, welcome, welcome, Alboy. Oh, sick. <laughs> Alboy signed up. Nice. Yeah. You signed up as well, Bert. Mark's got one booked today. Yeah, sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah, I booked a call with me already. Cool. Cool. Booked your onboarding. Sweet. <clears throat> Joseph, yeah. uh, I could talk to you. I'll just reach out to you since I know you. Sick. Yeah, Mike's awesome. I just wondered if there's anyone who didn't, uh, or or uh, we can open up some more slots if anyone needs. Yeah, Mike's great. Mike's about mm, hour and a half down the street from me. Oh, is he? Yeah, did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, Mike's uh, Mike's in Syracuse. Mm. So just just east of me. Yeah, not, Syracuse, Utah. Yeah, not Syracuse, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shall we? Shall we jump in? Let's do it. I want to start by um, managing what's going on here with the kick drums, right? We got three kicks happening here, and many, yeah, there's never a time when it's just one kick. So we're going to manage these. Just kind of clean them up.
yet, to be honest. Or just do something like I think, that. I think I did that in the mix, actually. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> and these are all flown so I can actually do uh, yeah yeah so I'll just go like this Cool, that's done. Uh, do the same thing here. Oops. Shit. There we go. <clears throat> done. And any other spots? No, we're good. That's our new triple kick. Awesome. You guys, um, you guys see that? I don't think my, my pace is slightly off. Joseph. No, it was, yeah, it was intentionally cause we cut out the first hit. Yep. Way better already. Amazing. Right, you guys hear the difference there? <laughs> you getting some snow in California area in LA area? FV. Yeah, way better. Yeah, that's crazy to get snow over there. It's gonna hit us tomorrow. Yeah, I've had snow. <laughs> Yeah, you're used to it. But oh, LA, yes, like, to it. You, you... LA gets snow like once every five years, ten years or something. We get snow every other day. <laughs> yeah, everything's got to be like shutting down for you. <laughs> yeah, it was competing, Robin. There was. Sorry, go ahead. I was just telling Robin why you were doing that. It, the the kicks were competing on that first note. Yep. Cool. Let's take care of this. Rumbly, rumbly. I don't have my sound ID on, but I think this is where it should be. Sounds right, my headphones. Yeah, I think so.
Okay, just want to get that kick to cut through the mix. A little bit more. Um, I'm going to put a note that's here. That's right at the top end. Yeah. Um, I think that's what I did in the mix. I think what I'd like to do here before I go that route is sculpt mm. out some of the other high end stuff that might be competing with that. Yeah. There's frequency. that frequency. Um, to see if it'll just poke out on its own rather than just like add a whole bunch of sonic energy there. So I'm just going to make this as like a thing on last on my list to come back to. I may have even side changed some of the brighter percussion to the, the kick. Mm, okay. I'll do that sometimes because I like the way it um, pumps. Makes the percussion kind of move yeah. with the kick as well as the bass yeah. side chaining. Saturation, uh, Jorge, yeah. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's different. Like he, he was just uh, EQing. He had the, the uh, bell curve cranked and he wasn't getting any information to come up because there's no information there. So what saturation does is it actually adds harmonic distortion. So it's creating energy mm. based upon the energy that's there already. So if you need energy when it's not there, you can use saturation to, to do that or to just warm things up or create like distortion and our ears like harmonic distortion. So I might use, um, Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, Clarifonic would do it. Remind me what the lift and open frequencies are. I don't remember. Lift is uh, open. I think is three three k. No, four and eight. I want to say. You guys know this. Eight hundred and three. Yeah, eight hundred and then three k, and then four k eight sixteen. 32. Totally, Paul. Right. Yep. Um, so, for, I'm thinking around 8 is where I, I would pull that up to. So, if we're talking about... I'm just demonstrating, guys. If we're talking about adding harmonic content here... You know, don't think that's the right move i think there's just like other things in the way so we're gonna go that way that route we'll come back <clears> to that <throat> just gonna move on move quickly so we don't rabbit hole here um i think this chorus kick is good fine kick bass yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So close. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, 
I'm just going to limit that. And just to really control the dynamics here. I don't want it like fluctuating in and out like this, right? I just want like a nice kind of solid low end happening. Yeah, and I definitely, I'm gonna side chain this. Yeah, for sure. Um, what's it called? Kick. lucky there. Yeah, I love that. I love how it's dancing. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> cool. Uh, low and control kick base. Dynamic control on base. Done. Um, Kick's got a punch. Get some punch in there. Yeah. It's not punchy enough. Yeah, we definitely had it punchy somehow. I don't remember how we got there. So do you want a grit, right? Yeah, the kick is a, a focal point. There we go.
make sure that works in the verses. Yeah, so I think the this triple kick can be just a little less woofy. Cool. A lot of cool like kind of like pinging around here. Really cool sounds. Uh, yep. The only other thing I would do here is. I think what if we find that thing that's competing with the bass and spread it out somewhere else, that'll help too. It's definitely like a move there. Um, One sound sorry. in particular that's competing with the attack of that kick a lot, and they're both in the center. What? Huh? Which one is it? I'm not sure. Oh. It's, one it's one of the percussions. good you can pull those down a little bit that works we're gonna get a little bit more pumpitude out of these also um a little bit later we get into like, kind of like the bus level enhancements um yeah. i might do some side chain here nice and here and we're definitely going to do some kind of like groovy kind of dynamics processing here on the bus level Hondo and some character stuff on the bus level too. Cool. Awesome. Let's move on to mid range. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's manage some of these bases. this is just filling out this uh the mid-range portion here so i'm gonna scoop out a lot of this low end
Cool. Nice job. Mid range cleaning. Nope. Face pulse. Likey. Uh, so that's it for base. That's it for low end. Let's take a quick break. Break time. Before we get into uh, mid range cleaning and, and starting to add um, some more of the high end stuff, right? So this is like highs. Curious uh, where we're at right now. How's that paths looking like on the end? This is just a, actually a totally personal question. Without vocals, with vocals. The vocal isn't flown. It's a different lyric. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just noticed. I was like, "What is going on?" Cool. It's, it's not flown now. Right. Uh, maybe just the last one is different. Okay. Fixed. <laughs> that was a yeah. close one. <laughs> I was like, "What is going on?" Wait, that's not going to be fixed because it's this one. <laughs> Frank, you can really use any analyzer you want to. That's just the one we use in the program. So one just just one we like, personal preference. There it is. If you're taking the program, I highly recommend the the paths just because we use it a lot in the, the trainings. But you just need to learn to use one really well, which means you need to listen to a lot of music through it. You need to see how it looks when things are balanced. Um, and they're all kind of different. So you just need to pick one. Jake, you use the difference option activated in the reference to plugin. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's take a look <laughs> just to confirm. All right. Yeah, it's difference versus match. Exactly. It's the difference. So if mine has less low end than the reference, it's going to show me that in that way, All right? There's going to be a dip in the low end curve in the, the curve. Yeah. Talk about the curve, Paul. Yeah. I prefer it like that. It just makes more sense to my brain. You know, you do you, but that's how I've got it set up here so that you can follow along. Yeah. That makes sense to you too. Yeah. Totally. It just does. It makes makes more sense to me. It's like guiding me. It's telling me, you know, which direction, which direction to go. I don't know how it compares with the metric AB because I've never used metric AB. I'm sure it's comparable. I'm sure they're like the same. 
I just like the the um I like the the analyzer on the reference one. What's the best way to make live sounds and record it in the mix? Can you be more specific? <clears throat> yeah, I typed it in the chat, Wayne. Um, the KRK VXT6s. I think they're discontinued now. But you can still, I'm sure you can still find them somewhere if you wanted them. When mixing a two-track, what percentage of what's achievable? It depends on how well the two-track was produced. You know, if you got somebody who knows what they're doing, they bounced out a good two-track, then you, you can absolutely get a killer sound. But if the two-track sucks, your mix is going to suck. <laughs> Don't work with MP3s. Work with waves. Have you mixed much live performances? Yeah, I hate live performances. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like them. How do you deal with mic bleed? I just let it be what it is most of the time. Um, yeah, I don't even mess with uh, noise gate. Honestly, if there's a lot of mic bleed, I just process them as is. You know, I, I just get the best balance I can. It's kind of a different, it's a different beast than studio recordings, right? Because you have to worry about the bleed. So like there isn't a lot. You don't have as much flexibility. It's more of a holistic kind of vision. Don't try to make it sound like a studio recording is the point. Right? I think that's the biggest tip I have or like biggest piece of advice when it comes to uh, mixing live tracks. Like they're live. Do what you can with them, but still kind of lean into the live vibe. Don't try to fit like a square peg into a round hole here. All right, don't try to make it sound like a super isolated live recording if there's just already a ton of bleed in it. Just do the best you can with it and kind of lean into the energy that's already there, and the vibe and the atmosphere that's already there. That's my, that's my advice, anyway. And make sure your client understands that it's not, like if they can't have a, it's not a reasonable expectation for them to think they're going to get a studio sound out of, you know, a, a live recording that might have been recorded on stage in front of an audience or something like that, right? Just make sure that's clear. Communication's got to be on point there. <laughs> Thoughts on interface and mics for hip hop and rap? You got what you need. You got everything you need there. Furman, FV. Yeah, that's fine. 212 and an AKG P220. You're good to go. <clears throat> you know, it's all about, it's, it's about my technique and performance at that point. Cool. <clears throat> Everybody have a good break. Sometimes, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Richie, sometimes people are only talking to host and panelists. They haven't changed their settings to everyone. So sometimes they're only coming to us. So if you haven't changed that, you should change it so everyone can see your questions. Or he says, some people don't have everyone. Oh, yeah. You just have to change your settings, guys. Just... And hopefully, I'll have your audio settings changed as well so you're hearing this in high definition and stereo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The sound of Caleb's silky smooth voice. <sighs> Sip of coffee. Okay. Mid range. What do we have to do with the mid range here? Let's consult the reference. Hold up. 
consult the bones. Hold on deep, hold on to you remember how to breathe. Love guy, I'm not bad type me. Hold on to your mind, bad type me. Seduce your dad, tough guy, like you really rough guy. Just to the knees and the seasons to play. Yeah, so I'm not hearing a lot of problems here. If you think about it, the amount of energy we have in here was managed really well in the production with the sound selection. Right? So, this is typically mid-range. <laughs> Idiot. Here. This is all mid-range stuff. Really minimal. Thank you, Joseph. That's it's a crazy high end. I, that? Not sure. I don't know what that is. Uh, Air in the organ. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. Hear it? Hear it, honestly. Man. It's so tickly. It's... <sighs> there it is. You guys must have, like, tossed RC20 on it or something. Something. So, you know, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Yes. I'm going to call this organ air. That's what I call my farts. <laughs> and That's what they called you in high school. That was my nickname in college. Good old Jake Organair Codewise. <laughs> and I'm going to scoop it out of one and just leave it in the other. And you can control it. Yeah. As a mix engineer, I may consider knowing what I know about mastering to, you know, you'd want to control that a little bit, in my opinion, because I think in the master is a great place to add air on everything. And if that's already there, then maybe it becomes too harsh if it's too much already.
honestly, I, I, I don't think it's adding anything. Yeah, it's not really adding anything. Taking it out. I I can add better air later. I think. Mm. There right now. Yep. So let's tame some of this stuff in the vocals, the outro vocals. Yep, just taking care of that build up a little bit. Over here, do the same thing, ish. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the mid-range there. Um, really solid work, Caleb, on this in terms of, like, sound selection. Like, absolutely awesome, right? Like, I'm not doing anything here. I don't have to do anything with the with the mid-range. This is so well-produced. Like, I, I, just, I just don't. Sounds It'd pretty be, clean. When you have a... Oh. And in my perspective, there's a lot you can do in the production. You don't want to get overwhelmed by trying to mix it in production. You just kind of do what comes easily to you, which increases over time, right? So the more experience you get, the more instinct you get as to like sound selection and how to paint the picture that the mixers are are going to help you paint later. Mm. Or you can do there in production, the easier time you can see it is for someone who is mixing it. And they can spend more of their time just enhancing what you do. Yeah. Goes to fixing your problems, so that's exactly. kind of the hundred percent, hundred percent, man. I love it. Drums, and um, so now I'm thinking about the high end. There's a lot. There's a really a lot of busyness happening in the percussion. Um, it's a little fatiguing to my ear, so. We want to choose a few instruments that'll really kind of suck up the high, high, high end here and then push some instruments back, right? Just clear up all that energy that's happening.
Cool. That kick, yeah, what I noticed, I noticed that against the Billie Eilish, the kick is still a little wimpy. Wimpy. Uh, yeah, just still not yeah. cutting like the... We'll, the we'll, yeah. Else, but we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll I think it's going to be overall saturation, not high-end saturation maybe, but like an overall kind of... I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I noticed that on that last reference. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's definitely lacking clarity. It's a different track. It doesn't need to be as much as she has because she only has a kick in that part. Yeah. But it's still, I mean, we still need that, bup, bup, right? Like, actually, it's a different beat here in the chorus, in the last chorus than it is in the other two. Uh huh. Anyway. Okay. What else is happening in the sides? cleaned up some of these this i actually should have written a note here clean up highs
Can you move something f to the left or right? I'm not sure I'm getting stereo on my end. Uh, you're, you, you are now, when you're speaking, you're only coming out of my left speaker right now. But I'm hearing my DAW in stereo. I'm not hearing you. I don't know that I'm hearing y you in stereo. Your voice is only coming out of my left speaker. Yeah, Joseph says Jake is center for me. Caleb is left speaker. What about now? Uh, leaning left. Yeah, leaning left, but a little bit sexier than before, but still leaning left. That's what they call me in college. Caleb leaning left loveless. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How could that possibly be? Has it ever been this way before? No, you got something. You got to jiggle something around. You got to jiggle something jiggle, around in there. Jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> I don't. Is everyone hearing him in stereo? <clears throat> Yeah, everybody hearing the DAW, everybody hearing me in stereo. Cool. I have no idea what it could be, even be. Unplug your headphones, plug them back in. Yeah, did that. Um... <clears throat> Play the track again. Yeah, put something far left for me. Yeah, I'm in mono. Center for, yeah, you might be in mono, Jake. Did you select stereo? Um, let's see. I don't think so, maybe possible share sound How about now now we got stereo baby yeah I was in mono you're still leaning to the left though well <clears throat> no wonder I was wondering about some of the whip stuff going on yeah. I don't know why I would be on the left. I have I can't even imagine what that would be. Um maybe uh original sound for musicians, make sure that's turned off. <clears throat> I don't want that on. You do not want that on. I want Zoom optimized audio. I'm, it's on now. Yep. Coming from the center now. Got it. You so do. why don't I want that on? Because it, it turns off here. it turns off like noise suppression and like echo cancellation and stuff like that. So when it's on, it's meant for, you know, if you're like giving guitar lessons or something like that, or you're doing drum lessons over Zoom. It won't do the noise suppression algorithm. It won't do the echo cancellation algorithm. It'll <clears throat> capture more of your room. Interesting. So if you turn it off, then it'll just focus in on your voice and there will be no kind of like stereo component to it. Oh, was I leaning left all day yesterday too? No, actually. Yesterday you were good. I had the same setting on, so that's weird. Super weird. Oh, well. And now you're in stereo, too. So this is making a lot more sense to me what you're doing. Okay, <laughs> good. Everyone, Everyone's in stereo now, so you're about to get a treat. All right.
That's a cool sound. I thought a couple things were competing with the drums and the and all that, all those comments. I was like, something's competing there. Now sure. it's all great. I still feel like some, <laughs> some of the drum things uh, were, don't worry, we're going to get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. going on there cool um so cleaning up the highs really good awesome um more percussion highs more vocal mids dynamic control and backing vocals um and more vocal highs and then maybe more percussion highs so let's just do vocal processing yeah, there are some intrusive clicks now. Okay, I agree. But we'll get there. Glitch percussion. This? No, the glitch percussion. Don't hit on my clicks, Paul. I think these are cool. Oh, they're great. They're, they're just kind of in a weird spot. Or maybe too loud or something. so good okay this is feeling good to me yeah so nice vocal processing um we did some gain automation there 
I'm going to write that in. <laughs> it's too stereo-y now. Too stereo-y. A new happy life. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want them in. Cool. <coughs> A new happy life A new happy life We left our big brother For the watcher inside I want that man when I did I want that man when I did We were small and never raised a Honestly, dude, like this is a, this is a clean vocal I really like the way it sounds life. A new happy life We left our big brother For the watcher inside Yeah, not, I mean, really not much on the EQ side I Captured pretty solid <laughs> Yeah It's really phenomenal work A new happy life I mean, just maybe just... Dynamic control. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Wow, dude, so much. Ugh. I love getting vocals where I don't have to pay a ton of attention to like fixing things or bringing them to baseline. And I can just focus on the enhancement portion. So nice, man. Thank yep. you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Solid. Sooth never goes on sale. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty rare. <laughs> They know what they have. Yeah, they know. <laughs> They're like, we do this better than anyone. They're aware. Tony up. <laughs> I tried to do it with Smooth Operator for like a day. Yeah, you were like, yeah, I got Smooth Operator. It's great. And I was like, you'll be back. It was good for me. It's really good. Like we had this discussion, right? But for you guys, yeah. like it, it's it does a really good job for like mids and lows, but it doesn't have the processing power behind her, the algorithm for to do the highs in a transparent way. It's just my my two cents anyway. More of a it's more broad uh, of a brush stroke. Man, but that's okay. Yeah. A new happy life. Oh man, we're just gonna put some like serious uh, character to this vocal so excited new happy life it's so like exposed All right a new happy life 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 we left I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. A new happy life. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher. In can't, you can't make these sound too good, though, Jake. She's only with me for my production skills. 
and maybe my bow staff skills. But other than that, like, <laughs> maybe you should just not make them too good. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. Wow. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. A new wow. happy life. That's better than I got him. That's better than I was able to get them, Jake. I'll like tell that, you that. Like that silky, that just oh. silky vibey, like. He's in there. Okay. This is, uh, you know, LA2A, right? Yep. And then uh, the U73B. It's not emulating. It's emulating it's like its own thing. an old, like, broadcast uh, limiter. Like a Fairchild type thing, or? Uh, I don't exactly know, to be honest. Uh, 60s. That is a smooth. Dude, it's character, right like, all day. Incredible. This is yeah. what I reach for when I want some character. That's really nice. Smooth operator. Yeah, it's, it is. It's a... Uh, Yep, German modeled after German Verimu tube broadcast limiter from the uh -huh. 60s. Might have to re release this. Yeah, dude, vibe wise. Mm. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small now. It's doing a lot of this stuff for us. Right? The combination of these two are starting to do a lot of this by bringing out the details in these specific kind of like ranges and like creating that character. It's starting to bring out the mids a little bit more, but bringing up the detail there. Um, again, like just like bringing the highs to the front. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. <clears throat> yeah, these are micro sculpts. They really are. But they're it's making a wonderful difference. Let's do um saw some DSing on this. Yep, just a little, right around what, eight, eight K. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Not even touching it. We were small and never raised a voice. We were small and never raised a voice. We were small and never raised a voice. Never raised a voice. Never raised a voice. Never raised a voice. Never raise a voice. Never raise a voice. Never. Cool. I'm happy with that. Yep, peeling it back. Layer by layer. Chorus lead width. Why did I write that? You down can do this because there isn't. This is what Jake was saying. When there's so much to fix. By the time you're done fixing, sometimes you're just kind of 
I mean, you're, you're a human being. You can only listen to something so many times. And if he had to spend that much time fixing, there's less you can do to enhance. It helps to have a nice performance. Right about that. Just gonna copy those over. Hold it, please. Hold it until you do not breathe. Hold it till your heart no longer beats. Hold it until your mind no longer thinks. Hold it till your hands no longer shake. Hold it until your knees and the seas is the quake. Then hold it, hold it a little longer. Just uh, hearing a mid-range issue there on hold it. Hold it. Right there. You guys see that? Hold it. Right there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Just clearing that up a little bit. Hold it. Hold it a little longer. Hold it. Hold it a little. Now I want to make sure that I didn't crush that area throughout the rest of the chorus. Hold it. Please hold it and they do not breathe. Sounds good. Hold it till your hands no longer shake. Hold it till the knees and the seas is the quake. Then hold it, hold it a little longer. You move your hand, he speaks. You move your hand, he speaks. They know you better than you know yourself. Is that coming from it's this right ah it is um okay so what I want to do here is turn this into a mono actually 
So it kind of brings the ear in right up to the center, focuses just on that, and then just widens up. Right, and I'm almost thinking something like this. And kind of like exponential curve there. Um, the same thing here. Behind the show. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Love it. Nice kind of like little um like magic moment. We thought this was going to be flown. So just had to fix a few things here, guys. Sorry. Typically, this would already be done. Yeah, I'm absolutely grooving to this too, man. Somebody said it in the chat. I just spotted it real quick. Like, just wait until we get these drums, like, really, really grooving. Let me get the spatial processing in here. <laughs> Boy. Boy. It's going to open right up. Hold on. Oh, what's up, Julia? She's in the chat. <laughs> Sick. Really well done. Hold on a little longer. Yeah, really well done. Great performance here, Julia. Phenomenal. Um, I'm also going to cut that and let this just lead vocal. Hold on, hold on a little
Yeah, a lot of this came through. A lot of these mids just kind of like naturally we brought attention to those with the character and the compressor, um, the decisions on which kind of compressors to use. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Dynamic control on backing vocals. I'm actually not hearing... Um, I'm not hearing any problems with the backing vocals. But what I will do is just put a roof over them right now. Hold it, please. Hold it until you do not breathe. Hold it till your heart no longer beats. So it until your mind no longer thinks Hold it till your hands no longer shake Cold it until your knees and the seas to quake Then hold it So right now the vocal's poking through. It's because we haven't added like any spatial processing to that chorus or anything like that. It is a completely dry vocal. We're kind of getting that um, karaoke effect happening right now. Don't worry, guys. Sit tight. We're going to fix all of that. <laughs> this is in a really good place, though, um, as far as like vocal tone goes. The tonality is like uh, I'm I'm more than happy to move on with this. So, quick break. Sound good? Uh, actually, before we before we move forward, guys, any questions on any of that stuff? Before we take a quick break, I want to make sure we have a an opportunity to answer any questions. I know I did a lot of kind of like silent working, um, and I'm not always explaining exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Uh, trying to keep things moving here moving along so i don't get like so i can keep things objective will you fix the clicks will you fix the clicks i don't know just are, take them down a few db are, are they obvious and distracting to you jorge would you what would you do <laughs> would you how would you fix the clicks <laughs> jorge versus the clicks <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a style thing. <laughs> They're slightly pokey, I think. I, I would probably pull them back just a hair. It was me, yeah. but you can get away with them as they are. Wait, I'm going to add a... Fix the clicks, $9. Clicks. $9. $9. VIP. <laughs> yeah i'm not uh, to be honest guys i'm not really like hearing anything that's like distracting me i'm not hearing the clicks the same way that you are nothing that's like pulling my attention away from the vocals or anything like that well but we can we can absolutely visit those <laughs> uh fix the clicks I've got here, fix the clicks, and then we're going to do another reference check, and then we're going to get into this drum groove. That's cool with you guys. All right. Any questions, guys? Any questions? We've done a lot so far. We've been through a lot. Where's my hat? That's what my daughter says. Where your hat, daddy? Where your hat, daddy? Yeah, I got all, I don't know. I just didn't wear one down here today. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my speakers haven't worked this whole time. Just been watching those eyes. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, not a beat to click, you know, but I had the same initial thought as TJ that they sounded like crossfading misses then i heard the rhythm of them but it did not 
but it did distract from the vocals. Yeah, guys, let's uh, dig into that. Let's find those those clicks. Where are the clicks? Where are the clicks, guys? Are they in the percussion somewhere? If I were the to glitch per it's the glitch percussion. It's the glitch perk. Those the brr, brr, those things. This. Those? Is that what you guys are talking about? You don't like those? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think they're super cool, but uh, I think they are cool a little. Too. They are uh, when they come in. Sometimes they are like <laughs> hitting me here. Hitting you where? Your camera's gone. There you are. Drill. Oh yeah. better for me. <laughs> They've got people hating on your production, bro. <laughs> they downgrade the song's quality. <laughs> Guys. Y'all need to listen to some different music. <laughs> Come on. Listen to some massive attack. Unbelievable. <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> All sorts of vinyl crackles and clicks and pops. And Brutality. The DJ Shadow. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It it was distracting. I agree with everyone actually. <laughs> All right, I'm going to consider this click fixed. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Let's do some referencing. end on that Sylvan Esso mix is is crazy. Hold it, really rough, just can't get enough. So uh you know you know what I think? I think these shakers are just a little fatiguing. Hold it. I, I want to soften those a little bit.
pulls the attention right back to the vocals there. Me likey. Me likey. Sip of coffee. Then we're going to go deep on drum world. Yeah, TJ, I said this was all about the vocals and the drums. We need some more rhythm here. Um, there's something... There's something missing to me. And I think it's there. I think it's with the kick. I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit. Yeah, so I'm gating off the um, the tail. So, because there's so much going on here, um, there's a lot of percussion happening. And I think the tail of that kick is kind of trampling over a whole bunch of the other really interesting sounds and, and percussion that we have going on. So if we can cut that tail down a little bit. Hear the difference? Hear how that just tightens the groove right up? First without and then with. You guys hearing that? Everybody with me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Versus a, a more staccato. Just quicker decay. I like it. Let's see how that works in the beginning, though. It might w not work as well in the verses. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. Yeah, definitely. So I'm actually going to break these up by verse kick and... So it'll be like tight kick and loose kick. Uh, let's check out this verse here, too, um, since there's a lot of kick activity here. It might behoove us to keep it tight. And we've also got some trampling happening here. Speaks. 
So let's fix that. Sweet. Yeah, yep. The um, the relationships between all of kind of like these low end elements that po are popping in and out and in and out of the mix much tighter now, playing off each other, bouncing off of each other. Um, a little bit better, a little bit more rhythmically. You move your hand, he speaks. You move your hand, he speaks. They know you better than you know yourself. Is there some? Yeah, there are some in here. Just getting, just cleaning this up. Here, don't cha, don't cha. Um, I just want to make this punchier, this low snare. This is kind of like a weird, like, I guess it's kind of like a transient shaper. It's like a weird transient shaper compressor hybrid thing.
So leaning into the body of the snare more than the top end here. We've already got top end right here. <clears throat> the thing I'm going to do here. Is just get the um, get the low end out of the way. That that kick. Where's my tight kick? I'm going to marry these. Hmm. That doesn't seem right, does it? It's not bouncing my filters. Oh, nice, Paul. Good luck. The journey begins. Ah, that's why. I don't have volume pan automation checked. It's a rookie mistake. I know. Shame on me. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. Thanks. Everybody gets one. Yeah, I was gonna say, Paul, it's it's a pretty good time to go through the program with it. Um 
okay, let's bring it up by six and then bring this down by six. So I want that to pump a little bit. Which means compression. Man, we need to bring that to, we need to change that to our tight kick, wherever that is. Anybody see a tight kick? There it is, number nine. I kick. We'll probably have to change this over as well. Make sure all of our stuff is correct. Noise. That's some pumpitude. Yep, that's right, baby. There we go. Let's look at these tight kick. so fast. Hear the difference there, guys? I like it. Feel the groove that made? carry that over to the shaker a little bit. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here and I'm going to see where I'm just going to drag these compressors down on the channel strips so I can see where all of my pumping is actually happening. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to carry this over, but instead of on the kick, I'm going to tie this to the low snare. Snare low. Yeah, the Logic compressor is really nice and easy for side chaining. I use it for side chaining because it's just super straightforward and easy. There's other things that do it pretty easy too, though. Mm. Listen to that punch of the snare come right through. This kick is like not giving me what I want. Do you have a kit, uh, decapitator? Um, I do have decapitator. You want to try some saturation on it? I think I think it. 
I think that's what I did, and it really made it work. All right, let me try this one but thing you, first. But you do you. Yeah, let yeah. me try this first. Yeah, Tony, that's what he's actually doing. He's he's been uh, side chaining a lot of the high end percussion stuff to the kick, and it is creating a groove. But it's creating a a natural push and pull of the percussive elements. Saturation, you say, hey? Try to tap to us really uh, smashing it, but um, it's parallel. Cool. Where is it? It's not my top ten. <laughs> <laughs> Punish and low mix in really gritty. A couple of the other letters. P or N, I think. Oh, P. It's cool, though, too, huh? What's happening here? You can change that tone too if you want it and, to like slightly different. Yeah, range. yeah. I think E or N for me. Yeah, I like N. Try something else. <clears throat> Tape could do it too, maybe. Mm. You know what, dude? This is what I'm going to do. Saturn.
Aggressively. Right up the gut. Oh, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> Difference? <clears throat> right in the forehead. Okay. Just going to take a quick breather. Any questions, guys? I know I was kind of like a little bit in the zone there, trying to get that kick to work. Um, if you guys have any questions. Now's the time. Oh, we fixed the click. Fixed click the is click. fixed. I'm gonna fix you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last steps here. Um, all I did was I duplicated the track and uh, and I just isolated like the attack of the kick. So I rolled out all of the low end. So just the upper mids and the mids are coming through. And then I added some harmonic content by just pumping up some saturation here. Which made it really clicky. And then I controlled the dynamics with the clipper and went a little aggressive with the clipper um, just to create some more saturation. All right. And that's really just kind of creating this point for the kick. Hear the difference? You know, just go ahead. I was just going to say, yeah, we side chains some of the higher percussion loop, loop stuff too. Yeah. The kick gave it some bounce. Yeah. Thank you. 
getting that other kick drum out of the way of the, the main kick a little bit more. Here's the fun stuff. What do you think I'm going to do, Caleb? Tape. <laughs> Vibe. Using 456 for some vibe. Uh, we're going to play with the tape speed here. 30 ips is a little less of a low end rumble. 15 ips. Big bottom. So we'll play with this. Yeah, 30 eps is right. I was going 15. Really? I was like, give me that big bottom, oh, baby. Oh, man, that's, it's a little too rumbly for me. Fifteen's gonna. Yeah, it sounds good. Thirty yeah. sounds good. Yeah, but... I love. Man, do you hear? I just love what tape does to kicks and snares and drums. It's just amazing. Yeah, man, it's that imperfection, dude. It's it's beautiful. Something with the high end too. It just kind of like opens things up, right? It's crazy. And smooth at the same time somehow. Man, so wild. So we're gonna keep that right there. Yeah, yeah. Any uh, there's a lot of tape plugins. <clears throat> J37 Kramer tape. This one, this one's very similar to the Kramer tape actually. <laughs> This is one of my favorites right here. more detail. manage it cool i'm pretty happy with those drums i think they're sounding yeah, pretty fun. smooth dude like so good. and we haven't even done spatial processing on this thing yeah. you know crazy i'm just hearing those um those stick clicks like a lot like just space on those stick clicks yeah they have some space for us already these snares just 
say what. You talking about these Jorge? You talking about these tick tick tick? This clicking? You need me to turn that up for you? I think he wants it turned up. You you want that turned up? That's what I'm hearing. Poor <laughs> 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 hey, losing a damn mind over here. <laughs> oh, bro, you got to get over it. <laughs> if you're really lucky, we might put some space on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want yeah. to take the time to appreciate the the processing here. Man, because these yeah, before and after. drums are killer. Oh, yeah. Nice, right? So good. Yeah. Nice. I love where these are sitting. It's subtle stuff, but everything you did was just like carving out the Michelangelo. It's like, yeah, they're just like tiny little, it's like Legos, right? Like <laughs> just piece by piece by piece by piece, tiny little pieces. Love it. Killer. Um, where are we at? We... About ready for spatial stuff, or you you have some uh, synth stuff to carve out? Or are we good on all that? No, I feel good with the synth. The synths. Um, this is good. Yeah, I mean, you did a really good job selecting sounds there, so really not a whole lot to do there, in my opinion. Um, the drums and the vocals are the things that I'm most kind of concerned with. Those are the things that I want to like kind of target. <laughs> I mean, I think we can move to spatial processing, man. I feel pretty good unless we want to do some kind of like, you know what? Let's take a break. We'll listen to the track. Uh, we'll do a listen through and just observe and see what pokes out, see what hits us. Um, if there are any other opportunities for enhancements or um, fixes or anything like that, they're going to jump out, but I got to step away from this for, for a few minutes first before I just like, you know, otherwise I'm sitting here just like spinning my wheels and. Yeah. We'll somewhere. step away. Give us a, a solid little break. Joseph, good question. Actually. Uh, if you jump into spatial processing too early, you cover up uh, problems. You just can't get to a high enough level. Think of the spatial processing as the cherry on top. The last little frosting not used to fix. It just hides problems sometimes. Yeah. But they're not really hidden. They add up to something. It doesn't get it to a, as high a level as if you fix the problems first and then enhance. Also, what I found is that if you start to add spatial processing too early, you're actually adding signal and you're adding sonic energy to the mix. And if you do that before you manage the sonic energy that's already there, it can just turn into a mess. Right, it, it can just turn into just muddy, muddy mess, right? So I like to carve out and make sure things are nice and separated first before I, I even endeavor to add more sonic energy with reverbs and delays. Does that make sense? Uh, any other questions, guys, before we dig back into this? We got real deep. We got real local <laughs> with the drums only because they're super, super important. You know, they're really what drive this song. That groove has just got to be there. So we spent a lot of time on that. Um, oh, you did an American Airlines? I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. That's sweet. Was it a custom gig or was it um, 
It was a song they played when they were landing in a new place. They had this song that they played. It cool. was a playlist of songs. So it wasn't like a, you didn't do a custom composition. It was something that you submit, you fed the library and then they pitched it. Yep. Cool. Nice, man. That's awesome. Love that. Blip, 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 blip. Okay. Song called, a song called, uh, if, if you wouldn't guess, a song called Fly Away. <laughs> Any vocals? Yeah. Really? Nice. I think I sang on that one. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Nice. That's cool. Um, all right. Let's hit it, guys. Let's kind of zoom back out here. Uh, let's see what we're working with. And we're just going to observe and kind of take notes. Everybody, take some notes. We've got enhancements, fixes. We're just going to kind of blob everything together. There we go. Uh, more pre let, uh, huh. we all have we all have credits in in the in this company, but what's really cool are the credits of our students. Yeah, yeah, the people they're working with. I mean, our students have worked with amazing amazing artists and people you've definitely heard of i can't even pull up anything right now dane's got uh -oh. all that dane's got all that stuff <clears throat> john mayer lil wayne on who's working with who right now yeah, lots of artists uh one emmys uh work with grammy winners one grammys that's that type of stuff that's that's what really gets me going is yeah student, student success we've all had our successes and different not, roads but yeah it's not about us it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if the students can't do it right that's what really <laughs> yeah makes me happy right all right a new happy life a new happy life we left our big brother for the watcher inside i want that man when i did I won't blame me when I did We were small and never raised a voice Hold it second verse is, is different too Shut or the second up. the second chorus is different too uh.
Dude, the groove is sitting like in the pocket. It sounds yeah, freaking great. Super nice. Love super that nice. groove, man. Um, oh, so cool. All right. Yeah, I think we did some, and you probably changed it when you did the normalizing, but we, I think we definitely pushed some of that stuff at the end. And that last, there's a definite rise there of energy. Yeah. In terms of what? Can you, can you elaborate? Just all the, just like everything, I think, just kind of just like pushes up a bit. Sort of like rises. Yeah. It should kind of rock out there a bit. Yeah. It's not really clean though, really tight. Uh, we'll do it with spatial processing. Uh, so a few things I noticed the verse, uh, you know what? The snare, the, the 200 ish range of that snare bottom is pulling away from the snare low is pulling away from the lead vocal a little bit here. Is that difficulty to width? Throw and hold that bridge harmony processing. Yep, let's go and do that. I just want to quickly just kind of, I just want to get some quick wins here before we fix that second chorus. <clears throat> mm, chorus Lee. I'm going to copy over the processing from the verse. See if that does anything. Vision, risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder, tender, water, pillar, daughter, mercy, worthy, measure, doubter, denier, wanderer, circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watchtower, water, fire, burn, north, the south, cast, east, west, release, all carry. Cool. All right. Just a couple mid-range bumps in here that we can fix with some soothe. North, the south, cast, east, air, west, release, all carry, maiden, body, motor, peak, water, fire, burn. North, the south, cast, east, air, west, release, all carry, maiden, body, motor, peace, vision, cool. risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder, tender. fix that chorus just knocking things off the list i love it um so this chorus here right yeah <clears throat> you son of a gun it's a little different
sees as the quake, then hold it. Whoa. Did you hear that? Hmm. It's my stomach. Wah. Hold it, please. Hold it until you do not reach. Hold it until your heart no longer beats. Hold it until your mind no longer thinks. Hold it till your hands no longer shake. Hold it till the knees and the seas is the quake. Then hold it. Hold it a little longer. Cool. Fixed. Verse vocal cut. What did I mean by that? A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never. All right. <sighs> Any questions, guys, before we move into spatial processing? What's your favorite color? Red. Makes sense. <laughs> the most abrasive in your face color there is. <laughs> You're such a red personality. <laughs> totally. Boy. <laughs> <clears throat> What's your current vision of the song? The song is, I mean, dictates the vision, really. I'm I'm just trying to enhance it. I'm just trying to lean into the flavor that's already there. That's yeah, my job. Yeah. That's my job as the mix engineer. It's not it's not about my vision. It's really about the artist's vision and translation and management. It's about helping the artist. <laughs> it's it's also about compromising and prioritizing. <laughs> Mixing is about compromising and prioritizing. A lot of pressure, Jake. <clears throat> what? I was just thinking about how, how much pressure it is to mix a song, not only live on a webinar, but with the producer, who's also pretty good at mixing. <laughs> <laughs> breathing down your neck the whole time. Ah, it's fun, man. A lot of pressure, man. Ah. You're doing great. Killing it doesn't feel like it. I feel like I'm just hanging out with my buds, like having a yeah. good time. It's fun, man. If we don't have fun, what's the point? How many coffee cups on the desk today, folks? Yeah, and the artist is watching. Ooh, oh no. Six, seven, six, four, five, seven, six, seven, six, four, five, seven, six. Jake, do you have a guess? Four. Four? Yeah. Negative two. Definitely four. That was possible. Yeah. No, I had a, I think my intuition about myself that I had yesterday was exactly right. That six was the maximum <laughs> because I brought a seventh down today. And as I was walking down the road, walking down here on one of the breaks, I was like, that's too many. <laughs> and I took them all up. You did. You cleaned up today. Except for one. Except for I one. I just brought down. The answer is one. No one got it right. Um, but I, I was right. Someone, you know, someone mentioned yesterday six was the threshold. And I think that was right. As soon as seven hit, I was like, oh, yeah. get a life. Get a life, man. <laughs> Al Boy says you have an internal coffee cup limiter. <laughs> Julia says my cupboards were empty. I was so confused. Where's all the coffee mugs? Amazing. No, she watched me bring them all up, too. It's like, oh. Oh, my. See where they've all been. <laughs> I'm 
just going up the stairs. <laughs> no, it was exactly like that. I had to open my door with my foot. <laughs> ah, good stuff. I was on a unicycle. I could have been a halftime show. You're drinking caffeine too, right? You're yeah. on caffeine all the time. Can you, you're, you're the guy that can have like a cup of coffee before bed, right? Yeah. And still yep. sleep like a baby. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. No, we were just talking about getting some like Paro for like before bed. Some, some, it'd what? probably keep me up if it was right before, but like Paro, it's like chicory root. It, Kind of tastes like coffee, but it's not. What are all these words? What are these... <laughs> I think you're making shit up right now. <laughs> Bar barley cup or chicory root or paro. All right. <laughs> Flippity flop. Somebody save me. Someone save me in chat. Flippity flop and peaky blinders and rigmarole. <laughs> what are we? What's all this hullabaloo? It was in Scotland. Uh, who was it? Al Alboy, right? You're from Scotland. It was in Scotland. I, I learned to like Barley Cup at night. Mm. You know Barley Cup. Me? Are you talking to me? No, Alboy. Yeah, that was my my nickname in college. Alboy? Oh, barley Cup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh, we, we have good times. Uh, music is fun. Uh, music is fun. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's really like my only joke. Um, yeah, you'll get, you know, you join the program, you'll get used to them. They'll get old real quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're just the same. I just recycle the same ones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. Spatial processing here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, there it is. It's made of barley, malted barley, chicory, rye. I don't even to... know. I don't know what those things are. It's all some <laughs> grains. It tastes a lot like coffee. It, tastes, it has that, that smoky kind okay. of dark malty flavor. I'm in. Yeah, it's, re it's really nice. If you wanted to go like a non-coffee substitute, I enjoy it. Caffeine content? No caffeine. No caffeine. Good. I can't. I can't do it. You guys think I'm, I'm extra now. Get a little slip a little caffeine in my green tea. Yeah, mud water. I think that's Yeah, this is all decaf. It's decaf. I'm never without my decaf. Where'd Al Boy go? I thought he was gonna vouch for barley cup, but he's out of there. All right. All right. Let's dive in. You guys ready? You guys done talking about these made up, uh, <laughs> <It's nonsense. laughs> made up words? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's polish this off. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to start with the vocals. Here. I'm going to do some before I, you know, um grab the lead robin that made me laugh ovaltine moment over be sure to drink your ovaltine it's a crummy commercial your ovaltine fudge All right, guys. I've got a few notes here that I want to address before we start slapping reverbs on things. One of them is this 
doubled vocal here. Hold it, please. Hold it until you do not be. Hold it till your heart no longer beats. Hold it until your mind no longer thinks. Hold it till your hands no longer shake. And I'm getting a little bit off track here with my levels. Bring this down about two decibels, everything down. That was a good guess. Hold it. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these. Um, right here, I want to take a look at this. <clears throat> let's put a micro shifter on there. So instead of jamming this lead vocal, this double up the center, I want to spread it out to the sides. Just to clear the center of like clutter, it's just a little bit of a different texture to the vocal too. Kind of widens it up. Let's listen. Let's roll into it. Make some room for that chorus lead to really come forward too, and it kind of creates um, uh, a thicker kind of vocal stacking, especially in the chorus. There, again, if we're going for kind of like that Billie Eilish kind of sound, then that's the way to do it. What's that? That was a perfect move. Yeah, it feels good. It feels real good. Clears up a lot of space in the center. Hold it. Um, I want to play with this bridge vocal also. Vision, risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder, tender, water, pillar, daughter, mercy, worthy, measure, daughter, denier, wonder, circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watchtower, water, fire, burn, north, the south, cast, east, the west, release, all carry me. I think I like it there. Vision, risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder, tender, water, pillar, daughter, mercy, worthy, measure, doubter, denier, wonder, circle, mother, crystal, conjure. So, uh, I'm trying to decide if, on a few different things, on like the positioning of this vocal. I like it there, man. It's pretty cool. I like it sitting there, and I've rolled off the, the high end a little bit to kind of push it behind the lead, but not too far. Um, you know, I really like kind of like the raw just nature of that that harmony vocal. I don't think it needs like a whole bunch of width and pan it uh, like a, needs to be really wide to the sides. It's a really nice contrast that it's narrower. Um, 
uh, than the everything that's going on in the chorus, right? Everything kind of just gets sucked up into the middle here. Narrow, narrow, narrow. And then blasts wide again. I, I like it where it is. I love that. Actually. Just wanted to get that weird vocal pulse out of the way. And this is just a little distracting. I'll soothe it. There it is. Right now. Yeah, the, the adding the tickle pad will help. And then if you do like maybe a slight automation of volume on the other pads, I think that's what it's, that the intention of that part was like an elevation and release. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah, there's some, there's some high end that we could open up here too, because the vocals are no longer present in some yeah. of the other instrumentation, <clears throat> maybe. Um yeah, there's a bunch of things we could do there. That's and like you can last. Hear, and you can hear the uh, like the tone of the the synth start opening up too. So it's really meant to rise there. Yeah, there's a oh. there's a low pass. There's a filter sweep there. Mm-hmm. 
Definitely. Same page, Mr. Producer. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, this is killer. Um, sweet. Throw and hold it. Verse vocal cut. I'm taking a look at some of my other notes here before I move into. So this organ. New happy night. Up the center. Um, I'm thinking something either like a chorus or something to kind of like move it and set it back and, and spread it out a little bit more. Let's use that Juno chorus. A new happy life A new happy life We left our big brother For the watcher inside I won't buy me when I did I won't buy me when I did We were small and never raised a voice That sounds good. Synth horn. What's that about?
Just getting that centered. <laughs> hello. 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 Man. Hello, Gavna. Check some in the base for me, sure. Jake. Yep. I have a feeling that bass grid is supposed to be there in chorus three and outro as well. Mm. You flew it to first. That's something it's missing. <clears throat>
do some sample delay there. Mm -hmm. Spread it out to the sides. Same with this. Oh, oh my daughter is screaming upstairs. Uh-oh. Oh, She's in trouble. I just hear <laughs> that's, so in trouble. That's rough. Yeah, give her some cheese. <laughs> That's all she really wants. <laughs> getting there now i could tell something was missing i kept bugging me that's absolutely what was missing cool yeah, transitions. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Transitions way nicely now. Way nicely. Good catch. I blame Dane. It's Dane's fault. It's always Dane's fault. <laughs> Funny. Still haven't added any reverb. That's right. Delay. That's right. Still haven't added any reverb or delay. All right, guys, let's do it. First things first, um, vocals. Let's do vocals. Why not? <clears throat> oh, there's this vocal throw also. These outro vocals and vocal throw, those are going to be special effects. So I'll probably do inserts on those, which means I'm going to route these first and foremost. Long. Crap. There we go. Vocal short delay. And vocal long delay. Start with the verse. Start at the top. I love how dry this is already, so probably just a little bit of room for, for width here. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. A new happy life. I want to check out the decay on that. 
A little longer than your normal short, but it's nice. Yeah. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. It, when you do it right, when you finally get that spatial processing, the whatever you're applying it to just takes it and runs with it. Pops. Just a so new bad. happy life. A new happy life We left our big brother For the watcher inside I want that man when I did I want that man when I did We were small and never raised so Man, so many di directions that we can go with this Um, you know, it it's up to you, man Um drier or wetter New happy life. i mean we've got so many options oh yeah the book list here a new happy life sure. we left our big brother for the watcher inside i want that man when i did i want that man when i did what do you think julia Maybe split the difference on the long. I hear that. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. What's that? It's great. It's great, actually. It's such a nice verb, right? That's. I actually, you know, I might. Bring up <clears throat> decay a little bit. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Okay, 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 but okay, 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 but can we try side chaining it? Yeah. New happy life. Just so it keeps it up front a little bit more, the intimacy that you know, Billy Eilish will get. A new happy life A new happy life We left our big brother For the watcher inside I want that man when I did I want that man when I did We were small and never raised a voice Is that a bottle release on there? Oh, you do it just really fast there's no auto release. Oh, it's not on. It's as fast as it goes. Interesting. A new happy life. Oh, that's fast. A new happy it wasn't doing life. that before. That was glitchy. I just turned it off too. Oh, okay. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. I think that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm in. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised. 
Digging it. <clears throat> Digging it. New happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. is that hi-hat doing way over there you did it on the end I, I think you did it on the end and then <laughs> Sounding pretty cool, man. Love this kind of like this distance and the space that's happening around it. A new happy life. A new happy life. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I'm putting like all this kind of stuff on the on the wrong aux. A new happy life A new happy life We left our big brother For the watcher inside I want that man when I did I want that man when I did We were small and never raised a voice Dude, sounding good. We left our big brother for the watcher inside. I want that man when I did. I want that man when I did. We were small and never raised a voice. Hold it, please. Cool. All right, I'm going to stop there on that for now. Um... <laughs> Next, let's dial in the chorus. I'm going to copy over the same settings and then we'll go from there. We were small and never raised a voice. Hold it. So we're moving away from Billie Eilish here. Um, as long as that's cool with you and that's cool with Julia. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's not, we're not trying to mimic her. It's, we didn't produce it to be mimicking because if we were doing that, we would have had seven perfectly tight vocals. Yeah, right. Really drying up front and yeah. Right, fair enough. It's more in the teardrop. Like everyone's been saying, like uh, that's almost a better reference. Mm. We've got some breaths happening here. Hold it, there we go. Hold it, 
Okay. Just gotta quickly clean these up. Where's, uh, it's a big idea here. Okay, here it is. Almost got upset. Just aggressively DSing the side vocals. I honestly think that's uh, enough wetness on that vocal uh, right up front in the chorus there. this up <clears throat> let's get some DSing happening into the delay Then you know yourself. They then you soften the S's on the ping pong. Then you know yourself. They then you know yourself. They then you know yourself. They it's better. Then you know yourself. Then you know yourself. Hear the difference? Why was that bothering you, Joseph? <laughs> Great minds. We can use some variety. Why don't you think? <clears throat> Everyone's so damn positive today. Shut up. I love you. Everyone's a positive guy. Vision, risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> he goes, shut up, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. Mm -hmm. 
that up a little bit. Vision, risen, witness, fullness, reverence, ponder, tender, water, pillar, daughter, mercy, worthy, measure, doubter, denier, wonder, circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watchtower, water, fire, burn, north, the south, cast, east, Digging it. Let's tackle these. These are going to be fun because I'm going to use reverbs that I haven't used before. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> you ever use this? Oh yeah, we've been obsessed with Supermassive recently. Oh man, I've never used it. Um, it's less of a reverb and more of a chorus. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, it's like reverb and chorus together. Yeah, I see. It's cool. Huh. Perfect for this, though. It really is. It works well. I don't know. I really just picked it because of the name. I... Like cool, super massive. That's sounds exactly like what I want to happen here. I want this to sound super massive. It does not disappoint. Danzy. Danger. Pretty cool to me. Oh. 
I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. Bring those up a little. Anyone feeling that? What the 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 Vox Bring there? Up, what up? Uh, both tracks, outro one and two, or yeah, bring one. those up a little. What'd you say to me? It gives me the tingles. Oh, yeah. your heart out dune soundtrack yeah really yeah that's totally Yeah, trickle pad. So freaking yeah, so. silly ass. Did you see the waveform though? Like even from the beginning, it was like this square of I, high end information. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. So what's what's bringing this to the forefront is this on the murder melodies. Oh. Right. I think we if we shut it off, it'll fix it. Yeah. Cause it adds like a bunch of like, like tickly harmonic kind of, kind of stuff. Cool. I love it. Super massive on that, Dane. Right for the win. We would do that now because we've been into that plugin recently, but it didn't exist back five, six years ago when we first fixed this. Right, yeah. Uh, this snare needs. That. Needs some space to it. Me thinks. So let's Do move it. on. Let's Do move it. into the drums. There's a short. Boom. There's a long. Guess we might have to do some more songs with Julia, Dane. <laughs> That's been a thing for a long time we Caleb and I have been talking about that for too long it's too much going on a new happy life a new happy life we left our big brother for the watcher inside I want that man when I did I want that man when I did we were small and never raised a voice
to be done in that last section a little fujiing huh yeah a little fujiing um let's get everything else kind of settled first yep and uh then we'll really kind of pay attention to that yep. um next is keys bow, bow, bow. one note on this the synth throw and synth horn came over to you super dry Mm -hmm. Those were intended in, <laughs> intended to be throws <laughs> or with a delay on them or something, if I remember right. Those aren't supposed to just be a single hit. I think they are throws. Uh, it, reverb or delay throws? I can't remember, Dane. Do you remember? Um, I should pull the track up. Oh, I, I actually have it up right now. Let me... What's the track called again? Synth throw? Synth throw... <clears throat> And uh, synth horn. I think those are both. Yeah, let me. Uh... Oh, I can't hear my sound. Hang on just a sec. Yeah, mute yourself and figure that out. We'll. Yep. Well, I think, I believe those are supposed to be some sort of effect. A delay, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, high figures. That's that's more like it. Yeah, just like real distant. It's a delay. The delay. It's supposed to go bam 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 bam. Aha. Yeah, it's it's a delay throw. Bow, bow, but there's bow, a, bow, there's bow, a little bow. bit of reverb in it as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, I would leave the reverb. Echo boy. Yeah, there's you like that bomb. What was that busing to a a delay? Must have been. Uh no. It was just directly on the channel. I mean, so if it were you know, my gut, my instinct is telling me let this be atmosphere. Let it be bong. Cause we have so many, you know, if you think about it in context, you have so many other rhythmic elements already happening here. Right, taking up all of that bump, 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 all of those subdivisions, they're all handled. Right, they're all over the place here in this group. There's all kinds of movement happening here. I might just let this be a, a, a nice wong into the atmosphere, you know, let it fly. All right. Hold it, 
I'm gonna stick with it. Cool. I, I don't. I, I like it. It is decided. Cool. Definitely. And let's make sure we don't get too much build up there. Start from there. Let's latch it. Naya, wonder, circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watch tower, water, fire, burn, north, the south, cast, east, the west, release, all carry, mean, body, motor, peace, spirit, breathe, hold on, deep. Cool. I love that transition. <clears throat> Circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watch tower, water, fire, burn. So we did, see what they, we did there? Guys? Yes, sir. We just ramped up the reverb. Naya, wonder, circle, mother, crystal, conjure, gather, watch tower, water, fire, burn. North, the south, cast, east, the west, release, all carry, mean, body, more peace, spirit, breathe. I think that can you bring that up a little bit actually i think this is supposed to should, be in the spotlight it should be the spotlight yeah yeah it's very much like up front yeah you had the right verb choice though You listen to the to the arp coming in you'll notice there's still a bit of a drop off from where it comes to and that should be more like ramp up and then take over feeling because the other arp kind of works into it that way and that's the handoff you're saying yeah yeah not true I'm not sure that's the best. We have the best effects on that tickle pad. I mean, it's, uh, What's up? It's a handoff to the other ARP. Or I guess it's the same ARP, but it's, yeah, it's a hand. That's it's coming in and then becoming kind of the star. The tickle pad is becoming the star, Caleb. Is oh, it the art? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of automation on a lot of these that was baked in. Gotcha. I'm just gonna yeah, listen. It, instead of it dropping off, it should maintain somewhat of a consistency for for where it built to. 
Yeah, yeah. It seems like the energy should absolutely be just like the biggest here, right? Because we've got these crash symbols happening. Right, but there's a, you know, so this ARP coming back down into staccato mode is, seems kind of counterintuitive. Right, this is more building tension type sound rather than wide open kind of like um, uh, sustained notes, right? So I think that's kind of a little bit where the challenge is. Um, but let's listen through a couple times and let's just kind of grab some ideas. Just observe, right? Just uh, everybody just kind of like write down notes, think about how this is going to transition. This should be the climax. Boom. roll into it a little bit further. I guess it makes the most sense, yeah, because the, the the tone goes back to more muted on the ARP, and so the handoff should be probably to the tickle pad, which is a phrase I never thought I would say. Yeah, I, I like hearing it coming out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, so just turning up the tickle pad a little, I guess, is what I'm suggesting. Let, let's observe a little bit more. What's gonna make that softer is just a little oh. bit of chorus. That's super cool, man. Right there. Yeah. All right, just taming the harshness, but creating some movement here too, setting it back yeah. a little bit. So the energy is still there. You know, the whole the whole point of it elevating the energy levels. That's still happening, but we've just softened it a little bit. And uh, same thing with this ARP. Um, it's gotta come out of the center because it's uh, fighting with the vocals. And I think there's some opportunity here for it to kind of bounce around. What else do we have bouncing around right now? Uh, tremolo. I know we have trem on something. Would it be? Chorus, chorus. There it is. Oh, it's the bass pulse. Just gotta. Cool. Just gonna bring it down a little bit. Um, 
Let's play with one of these. But classic TV shows, that tone reminding me of. It's reminding me of classic 80s. A X-Files? Something. <laughs> Night Rider. I need to think about that one. Thinking about wanting it more like just cutty instead the, of this is where okay. yeah this is where I I would have to just like take a break. This is where I would have to like just approach this yes. in a brand, objectivity. Yeah, I would have to approach this in a brand new session. Um, at this point, right? Because I'm just like now I'm burnt out. I've made a billion decisions in the past six hours. Ooh. Yeah, it's not normal to I'm like losing, do a mix like this. And now I'm losing some of my like high frequencies. <laughs> my my internal compressors are starting to happen. Yeah. Starting to clamp down. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, for the record, not normal to just do a 6-hour straight, you know. Yeah, typically, you know, a mix like this without the teaching would probably take about four hours for me. Mm. Then you have a little bit more ear at the end of it. Exactly. Exactly. But my ear is gone now. Yeah. I think it's really close. <clears throat> I think um, whatever you added on the uh, tickle pad now makes it more forward. It could actually come down a hair. The old tickle pad. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's good. Let's wait, good for, enough to, let's wait to, for a couple minutes and then we'll run through this uh, one more time and see if we can Uji that into place. Cool. Sweet. I'm going to go grab some cheese. Yeah. Just grab one last little, little break. One last little tweak. I just Give need a, a few. I, call I, today. Yeah, I just need a few minutes. Um, I'm going to hang out and answer questions. Nice. Yeah, go binge watch some uh, 70s movies, 80s TV shows. Yeah. But other than that outro, I'm feeling pretty good about this stuff. You know, um, there are some whole, there are some throws in here that we could mess around with. Boys. That was obviously meant to be. Let's use another super massive. It's pretty cool. 
I like this thing. Oh! Dope! It's not the one. Got the space modulator in this Valhalla room. No, Joseph, it's it's all frequencies and dynamics. Medium room. The only thing that changes is the um, emotion, which changes some techniques. But it's all the same tools even then. Dark space. Dense room. Aren't there like halls in this thing? Yeah. Generally, hard. TJ, it's the whole track, but there are some automation that we've used here and there. Big vocal hall. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Dope. That's cool. Gotta be the one, right? Never raise a voice. Hold it, Nailed it. I'll be behind the shell. Let's bring it up a little bit. And we'll actually bring it out. behind the shell. There we go. Oh. Dane's got a message. You got the message. Behind the show. That's uh fifth element. You got a message. Hold it, please. Hold it today. Do is there was really so carry me in body more to peace. Something just not hit me right about that. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> thing then I'm gonna bounce it out
Let's do it. Sweet. Yeah, I would uh, typically have like maybe one more session where I spend like an hour just like yeah. tightening things up here. Um, checking the references and exactly. Exactly. Checking all of that stuff. Um but we are in good shape. I feel pretty yep. good about that. I would also do like a little bit more bus processing, probably across the board here. Right there. Yep. Ballpark. Nice. Feeling good. I would never have thought to get those, grab those references though. It's that's cool. Yeah, Billie Eilish, uh, Saint Vincent, Sylvan Esso. Yeah, Sylvan is a. Is it? Sylvan's was the least good. It ended up being, but maybe just got the wrong one. Yeah, the, the teardrop. Crispy. Yeah, I think Richie. Sorry, Rich A. Rich, uh, you're. Massive attack is very much like kind of the vein. That's the vibe. Bounce that thing. Mm -hmm. This is going to take to a master nicely. It's nice when you turn the paths on at the end of the session and it's a perfectly balanced mix, just like it should look. That's right. It's also very helpful to get really great tracks and great performances. <laughs> No doubt. Claps in chat for Jake. Marathon session, six hours. Come on. Show me some love. My wife is pissed. Arm emoji. <laughs> wife's, your wife's ready for a break. And you're in Jake's. Jake's and Caleb's wives are ready for breaks. All right. We got the... Got the track. All right, Dane. You ready for this? Mm hmm. I'm just pulling up a new session. Joseph. Yeah, let's give Jake the clap. <laughs> Hey, Lend you get a lot me. Of what's that? Last thing I'll say is you get a lot of value in four days. Imagine what we could do in a year. Indeed. Mm hmm. Let's go. There it is. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> that's dane just like walking around in daily life they got even more 80s on this mix than the original it, it somehow did somehow it got even more 80s i tossed a ton of verb on there on the vocal that might help yeah and that uh <clears throat> movie you did with the Mufasa plugin or whatever it's called. <laughs> Let's go Mufasa with, plugin? We'll just go with that. Yeah. That's what I call it in my brain. Wait, what is it? I don't know. The, they're murder melodies. Oh. I love that. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. It all it does is just interject. Remember who you are <laughs> <laughs> throughout the track. That's so good. Oh man, mm. good stuff. I'm gonna turn my volume down a hair and let you do your thing. Seven minutes. My oh, there it goes. That was snappy. You got seven minutes. 
Starting now, baby. All right. I knew I'd be nice. Coming in nice. Yep. Coming in nice. Right on. Let's let's go. Seven uh, I guess I don't have years. the. I guess I don't have those references, do I? It's all right. Just do your thing. Yeah, I'll just do my thing. <clears throat> I knew I'd be nice. I knew I'd be nice. I always like to kind of jump back and forth between either this or Saturn. Or Saturn. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of audition these two. It's cool. After doing enough of these, we can call each other's tools. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like them both for different reasons. I'm just going to go with Saturn. I like the Saturn. Yeah, I like the low end bump that Saturn does. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. <laughs> those vocals right forward yeah yeah i wanted some of that one one point something or whatever that was i'm tempted to try the api on this for some reason 
I don't feel like I would normally go for this, but. kind of like that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of throw no zone imager on it. Throw no zone imager. <laughs> one minute. One minute. Thank you, one. Okay with that if we if we have to keep it within so was it seven minutes you did it oh well back to saturn just a hair for me i just want to hear something you did it uh at the same spot caleb yeah what would, you, what would you do what would you do differently you just relax did you just relax <laughs> uh i don't remember it was Answer me. Uh, oh, you're good you're good <laughs> Hold on deep, hold on to you remember how to breathe. Hold on to your heart, we're so at speed. Hold on to your mind, we're passing deep. Hold on to your hands, we're not ashamed. Hold on to the knees and the seas, just to play them. Hold on, hold on a little longer. Not I like too it. shabby. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Amazing. That 10% cool. less Saturn really sent it over the top for me. Yeah. Nice. Good call. <laughs> that was a tweak it needed. Oh. Uh, should we do it before and after? Yeah. The level match it. We'll do... Um... Just duplicate the track. Yeah, that's the best way to do it, isn't it? I mean, it's no bubble bio. There's no bubble bio. Should we just like, I'll just do this. I'll just gain it up. But I'll just, we'll show you what it's like to like actually send this through some proper EQ type thing versus just slapping a limiter on something. So we'll try to get the same result. Hold on, Oh, 
this. Same, same like level on the meter. Yep. But same level, but listen. Much louder. That rocks, man. That, 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 that outro slaps right now. Yeah, that turned out okay. And that yeah. Really good. good job. Really Jake, well definitely, done. Uh, definitely do one little half an hour session on that and send it over and we'll release it. One last little session like you wanted to do. And last little touch. Yeah, I will. Remaster it. My only thought is after bringing up that high end is... Uh, just some of the percussive. Yeah, there's uh, some of the percussive is now a little, a little too much. A little bit too. Mostly the shaker. Yeah, the shaker really. Anyway, but dude, I I usually don't I usually don't go for the API on this type of thing, but that was. Yeah, it sounded good. I I liked kind of what it did to the drums there. Sounds anyway. really good on drum heavy stuff. Yeah. Does, well, does all that API stuff is a little bit more like mids forward, kind of like upper mid kind of. Yeah, kind of. There's a certain right? snap. Yeah, there's a, certain, there's a certain snap on drums that like only the API does that is is kind of fun. So yeah, well, it's been a fun session, y'all. What a good hang! Thanks for spending your Saturday with us. Hope you had a good time. Indeed. I'll stop sharing. Jake, good job today. Good job on the master, Dane. Hey, thanks for being such an awesome hang. Thanks for sending over some sick tracks. Great job, Julia. Really incredible. Well done. Absolutely. Yep. We hope to see you soon. Hope you hope to see you on the inside for those of you who it's the right time for. If not, we'll see you on the next FTM. Keep creating. Keep having fun. It's been fun, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good one, Bye, everyone. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want to watch the next one of these live and interact with us as we go, then go to fixthemixchallenge.com to get access to the free community and get all the links for the next live event, add it to your calendar, all that kind of stuff. That's all from me. I hope to see you there. Happy mixing.